Welcome to Open Arms, an honest conversation about firearms. Hey everyone, I'm your host Brian Lockerman and welcome to another episode of an honest conversation about firearms. And it looks like we're going to be wrapping up our Canada Week with our last guest today. It's been a great one, right Nikki? Yes, it's been so much fun, and I'm very excited to hear what this candidate has to say. And it's been really exciting to learn about all the candidates that are running. And um, don't forget to vote March 5th. There you go. It's been, it has been a great run. I'm so glad we did get to learn a lot about the, the candidates that we're um, supporting. But today on my show, right now, I have Felicia Novick. Welcome to the show, Felicia. Thank you so much for having me. This is so cool. Absolutely. And, you know, I wanted to have you on my show so bad because I met you for the first (laughs) time at that event on that last Sunday night or whatever it was. Yeah. And you were just so just personal and bubbly and fun and 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 what you stand for i'd love to hear and everything thank you so much now what are you running for i am running for state assembly district 43 which is in the east valley okay i was the first to ballot qualify and i didn't hesitate to do something and make change for my california beautiful i love hearing that felicia that's thank just you. fantastic stuff now i did do a little research about you and who you are and what you represent and what your policies are and things like that okay and one of the things I really liked and it really, really just hit me was your family values. Oh, yes. Family values to me is, is, is one of the big pushes you're, you're doing in your campaign. Absolutely. And, and that's brilliant because I'll tell you why. Our show and our project, Open Arms, we are so about, you know, gun safety and yes. family values is huge for us Very. because I feel we're losing our family values. I feel we've lost them. We're we're on the brink of losing them. And I agree significantly. And when I heard and I read what you're you're talking about, I'm just like, oh my god, this is the girl. This <laughs> is a, she's got to be the one in office. She's got to be. Thank you've got to you get so her much. in. Thank I you. I know. So what made you decide to uh, push on the family values so much? You know, I'm a mother. I have two sons. Okay. And when my kids were in school. I had rights. I had rights on the say for what they do, what they don't do. Mm -hmm. And I am really very adamant on the fact that the parent has say until the child is 18. But now they're trying to take parental rights away and give kids their own self-will. Yep. And children's minds are development. You know, they're in the developmental stages as they grow. Exactly. And they can't make these decisions. They can't make decisions that no. these schools want them to make uh, and I, they want to take from ch- the parents. It's unacceptable, and they're trying to disintegrate the family unit. Uh, you, you said it right. You said it right on it. Right on, uh, nailed it on the head. That's perfect. I mean, it is crazy. I mean, I can't believe what, what is going on in our school systems. Oh, and it's what not the, what even the, that. It's, uh, yeah. It goes so much more deeper than that. Yeah. I mean, there, prayer ha- prayers out of the schools. Yeah. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance mm-hmm. is out of the schools. Mm-hmm. American flag is being pushed away. Yeah. They're bringing in other flags, such it, as the LGBT flag, exactly. which so they can push the LGBT agenda down children's throats, and it is unacceptable. I agree. Absolutely uncalled for unacceptable yeah, i do agree i mean they're, they're, they're just pulling everything out, out of the school system like when i was in school we started every day with the pledge of allegiance oh yeah we learned about our country yes we learned about our amendments we learned about the constitution right we learned about american history yes you know why we were such a great country why we we're a great free country absolutely and now it's just not taught anymore it's not taught and it all started with prayer leaving the schools. Yeah. Our country is founded on biblical values. That is true. And ever since those values have been taken away, you have school shootings, you have what's being taught in the schools, and these things that are being taught in the schools are not going to help our children to become productive members of society. Uh, I agree a million percent there, and that, that again was well said. And Nikki, just a real quick question for you. When you were in school, let's say your, your high school uh, days, did they do the Pledge of Allegiance or anything like that when yeah, you were in school? Yeah, we you did the Pledge of Allegiance, yes. So you did. So, so I don't know when when they took that away. Yeah, because I, I, to me, it's, 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 just, it's so bizarre. Um, you know, I just noticed how that was just slowly, slowly just, just, just disappearing. And... 
when I went to the VCGO meeting for uh, uh, the first time, like maybe six months ago, they opened up with the Pledge of Allegiance, and I said, oh, my God, I haven't heard this in so long. Right. It's so 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 nice, and, and it feels so good to, to hear this again. Right. It's sad that our Pledge of Allegiance for our United States of America is being taken away. Yeah, I know. Everything, you know, it's they are disintegrating America, California. Yeah. Peace by piece, just ripping a piece, ripping a piece. And the piece gets bigger each and every day because we don't have the right people in office. I, I agree. That, that is we true. We do not we have don't. the right people There's, in office. You're right about that. Now, real quick, going back to the family value thing, do you feel that these parents are just enabling their kids and not it, not really teaching their kids and just, just, just saying whatever? Is that, 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 is that what the you're... The schools are... The more the schools? The thing is, there are a lot of people people that are single parents. Uh -huh. There are a lot of parents that are hardworking parents yeah. and they don't have the time. So how this works is the school system is trying to take over that, yeah. that. And parents need to participate more in what children are doing because it started with after school programs. No big deal. But now they're really trying to take over, and that's not their job. I do That's agree. not yeah. what they're t there to do. They're d there to teach proper academic subjects, send the children home with homework, and as these things go on properly, these children can pass SATs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with what they're doing in the schools now, that has nothing to do with the SAT. I know. Nothing. I know. It's, it's sad. And, 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 but one thing, though, I do still think that parents should still be doing is spending some family time. Absolutely. I don't care if it's, if it, if it's dinner. Sit down with your, with, with your kids at dinner. Absolutely. Talk to them about how their day was. Explain to them that we, we are the family. Right. This, is, this is where it is right here. It's not, right. it's not in your school your teachers are telling you, what you have to be or what you should Absolutely. be. Absolutely. It should be f in, from your family. I, I think, I mean, I do understand that people are busy, people have jobs, right. single parents, stuff like that. Right. But there's still make some time. Ti make time. Make a make little bit time. of time. And that's what the school system is taking advantage exactly. of. Exactly. That time not being made. Yeah. And that, that, that's the that's problem. Right. And that's, what's, uh, that's what that generation coming up is just what, 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 what are they going to be? Right. What are they going to do? Right. You know? Right. And um, that, that's, again, I love, I love the fact that you're stepping up to the plate Thank and so really much. forcing that, you know, that family value thing. I grew up with family value. So did I, Felicia. You know? I grew so up with I. my mom, my dad. Yes. My mom stayed home with me. I'm an only child. I don't have brothers and sisters. Dad worked. Mom stayed home, took care of the home until I was 18. Then she went back to work. You know, she was involved in my life. Absolutely, you know? Felicia. And I had friends growing up. The parents weren't involved. Yes, I know it. And now they're I trying to disintegrate that structure. I, I agree. Now, even, like, I grew up with family values like that, too. Now, both my mom and dad had to go to work because, right. they, they, I mean, they, they, you know, barely, they, they, they worked their butts off. But we, we, you know what? We had a happy, happy, good life. Right. Even though we didn't have much. But they always set time aside to talk to myself and my sister about our day, about Absolutely. how was it. About our, what, what, involvement. What, yeah, involvement. I mean, always in our, 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 our after school stuff, whether it be sports, whether it be anything we were doing. Right. They always were involved with that, you know. Right. And that's, again, no matter, it didn't matter how much we had, we had a great family upbringing. Exactly. And it makes a difference. Right. And, and what makes a difference is one thing they're not teaching, because he's part of history, is about Jesus Christ. Yeah. They're not yeah. teaching about Jesus Christ. I know. I mean, we have a lot of people that are in our country that are Jewish. Teach about Israel. There you go. You know? They're not teaching about two fundamentals that are more important and more of a priority. There you go. They have switched the priorities. And Jesus Christ and about Israel is what our children should be taught and learning I about. I agree 100%. Now, Nikki, uh, you grew up basically with, with a single mom, correct? Correct. Okay. <laughs> but, then, but then she had to work all, all, you know, our day, obviously, but she still, still came to take care of the kids. It had family values, right? Yes. 
Exactly. And you you did learn. You, I think you grew up Jewish. Right. So you did did learn about a, a little bit of, you know, I wouldn't go that far. We lit the menorah and lit, had a Christmas tree. Okay, <laughs> so well, we're, well, we're not very religious, right. but um, yeah, my mom's side's Jewish, so yes, I am Jewish. But we're not. Again, we're not. We don't. We never really practice the religion. Yeah, but at least you 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 knew about faith. Yeah, of course, yeah, and uh, stuff yes. like that. And you did have you know, even though your mom was a single working mom, you did. You and your brother still got family values to where you guys are are very very successful today. Well, thank you. Exactly. And when my children were young, I was a single mother, and. I made time. There's yeah. no excuse. I agree. And I had a very busy life, very busy schedule with work, school, because I was always trying to achieve and accomplish, and as I'm trying to now. Yeah. And it's about making time, because if you don't make time, the wrong people will make time. That's true. That is absolutely true. That's what I said. When I first met you, Felicia, I swear to God, there's something about you. You, you, <laughs> you just radiated this, this, this goodness. Thank you, you know, like that you, you ought to do good for us. And I, I care. I really care yeah. because I don't like the way my c country's going. I don't like the way California's going. I was uh, born and raised in California. Yeah, there you go. And we're, we're the same way. We feel the same way about California. Yeah. Got to got it. Got to get it back. Yes. OK, here's a big one for you. <coughs> Second Amendment. What's your thoughts? I feel I, I support the Second Amendment to the fullest extent, but I feel that in homes where there are children that are able to get two guns mm -hmm. and take them mm -hmm. to school, there needs to be more, again, participation. Exactly. Safety. They, that's it. Felicia, that's it. That's it. That's what, that's what Open Arms is all about. We uh, enforce the, 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 the importance of getting gun safety training. Right. When you do bring that gun home to your house, if you have children, now, Put just it away. And under lock and key. Exactly. Just to let the keys. They should it. not be have any no, access no, no. to it. When we started this project, um, and we started doing the, actually the podcast too, we started getting a lot of emails from people, mm -hmm. you know, saying, "Oh wow, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing, you know, supporting this, teaching me about how how important safety is." Right. One email that still sticks out to my head. I've I've I, I, I've actually read it on a couple of my shows. It's just about a guy who contacted me and said, I was one of those guys who willy-nilly threw a, bought a gun, loaded it, put it underneath my bed, had kids in the house, and just sat there. He said, but now I've watched your show and your podcast, it changed my mind. I went and got safety classes from my wife and I. We, we actually had safety training with our, with our children. Our gun is now locked up safely. We feel now that we are safe because of your show. Thank you, Brian, for what you're doing. Thank you. Right there, Wonderful. right there tells me that we could have saved a life. Right. Because if he would have left that thing there and his kids would have found it someday, it could have right. been an accident. Right. And it's the negligence of leaving a gun under and the that, bed. That's what it is. Lock and key. Simplicity. Safety. That's it. It's not they about. Go hand in hand. You're right. It's not about the it's not about the gun. Because, again, we have our Second Amendment because our Second Amendment is what our country stands for. Our Second Amendment is, is, is for us to, the right to bear arms. Right. But. The right to bear arms also comes with right. be safe about it. It's two, there know? are two things that have been into this. Common sense exactly. and safety. Exactly. Well, and now do you own a firearm? No. Okay, you don't. See, now, I like don't that. Want, don't I, want to. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Then that's, that, that's okay. That's great. But, I support y'all. But, but you, no. support, you support the Second Absolutely. Amendment, which is a fantastic. Absolutely. See, that's why I'd like to hear that. I'm not, you know, out to, 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 to uh, you know, have the, the guy who grew up on guns, with guns, and been trained right. and like that. Of course, you can support the Second Amendment. But right. someone like you, who do, doesn't have a gun in the house, never right. owned a firearm, but you know the importance of our amendment. Absolutely. And that's that's a good that's that's great to hear. I uphold the Constitution of the United States because Beautiful. it is something that has been pushed and it's collecting dust. I, uh, I you're think right about that. I think it has at least a foot or two of dust on it. Because <laughs> it hasn't you, been huh? looked at it, it's not <laughs> being acknowledged. That is okay. true. That is true. I, I tell you. It's it's sad. I mean, I even ask I've seen this, these TikTok videos where, where they, they ask these kids, college kids, like how many states are in the United States? Uh, can you name the capital of, this, the, of our country? Can you? And they're just like, uh, I don't know how many states are, I don't know, about what? 100. Yeah, it's like, well, what? Because they're not learning what the right it? things in school. It's unbelievable. If they keep the, at the rate they're going right now, if they keep it up, yeah. and they ask these kids five or 10 years from now, if we don't get the right people in office, they're going to ask them again. They're going to say, well, do we still have Texas? Do we still have? You know, 
I know. I know. It, it's 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 unbelievable. I tell you, Felicia, we need more people like you in office. That's one hundred percent for the family value thing. I, so I'm a, I'm a real stickler about that. I mean, Nikki could can can tell you that. It's, I'm always about the whole, you know, the family right. values to me is so important. Very, very. So important. Very. Um, and they're taking the marriage covenant and they're destroying yeah. it. Yeah. Because they're putting in more of the things that don't need to be seen. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they had an issue with porn. I mean, they're still there, but they're making it so open to uh, act. I mean, they're I destroying everything that stands for God and for country. That's and true. that's what we need to stop. I agree. Because we're going to lose our California and our America. Yeah. And it's going to, it's, I mean, you have people daily moving out of California. Oh, I know. They're fed up. I have so many friends yeah. of mine already, already, already you know, left Florida left or the Texas. State. Yeah, that's it. That's where they're going. You know? Uh-huh. Even, even my, my good friend, uh, Steve, you know, he, he has a sexual business here and moved to Texas. Right, right. It's unbelievable. Um, so, Felicia... Are you doing any more campaigning out in the public right I now? I am doing my own footwork okay. on everything. I do have a treasurer. Okay. I have, I'm thinking outside of the box on my campaign. I have stores that take my flyers, that call me for flyers. So I work a 9 to 5. After I get off my 9 to 5, I go and I take flyers into stores, and it's been it's been easy. Very it's good. It's been so easy. Very good. Good, Felicia. You know? It's good to hear. And they you run know? out and they contact me. That's beautiful. That's, yes. that, that's That is amazing to hear. Now, where can people find you, like your, your website where they can read more about you? Well, I'm very easy to find. You can go on Google, type in my first name, Felicia, my last name, Novick. Also, I have a website. Okay. My website is Felicia Novick for the number four, State Assembly, the number four, the number three, 443, at I mean, dot com. <laughs> <I> <laughs> said at. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> and I went to, to her website too, and I read about her. And again, I just, I mean, I lit up because I I loved yeah. everything I read about her. Thank and you not so to much. not not to mention, I got to meet her in person. I got to know her even even better. It's Thank been, you it's so been much. Fantastic. No, of course, Felicia. So, um, you are, so any meet and greet or anything like that in the future before primaries? Um, hopefully, who knows? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. You know, just uh, just keep, let us know so yes. we can actually post that or something like Absolutely. that for people to meet you. I think you are the one to meet, really. I, I really think, appreciate. I, that. I really do. I think you're the you're you're the one to to actually have a conversation with, and your values are amazing. And Thank what you're you. what you're trying to do for our state, Thank I really you. do appreciate that. Felicia. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no, Thank no, you. No doubt about it. So, what do you think, Nikki? You have any questions for Felicia? No, but good luck, March 5th. This is very exciting. It's yeah. super exciting. I know. It's getting closer, getting closer. Yeah, what we'll do, you know, after the primaries, we'll talk to you some more and bring you back, maybe get some updates. And, oh, awesome. And really, really you. push the campaign at that point, you know, really just help you out. And okay. Get, get, you, get, you, get you moving. Yes, so. yes. And I can always use donations because I have supplies I need to get. I need to reach the people yes. for the people by the people. So again, my website is Felicia Novick, the number four, State Assembly, 43.com. You're a natural. You are. She's Thank fantastic. You so much. She is fantastic. Thank you. I love it. Thank and, you. And it's true, everybody. I mean, I mean, these campaigns don't run on, on freebies. These campaigns cost money. And it really is good to support your candidates that you believe in to help them get to where they need to be. You know? Thank you so much. Absolutely, Thank you. Felicia. And I appreciate your support for having me here. Oh, no, no question about it. I mean, again, like I said, when I met you, I said, I got to have you on my show. You yes. got to come in. <laughs> yes. So it was good. All right, Felicia. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. I do appreciate everything you stand for. Um, it's been just a, it's a breath of fresh air to hear this family value thing. Yeah. That's one of my, 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 my real biggies, you know. Yes. Uh, I, it's been a breath of fresh air to be here and meet all of you. And awesome. it's just been a, um, an amazing experience. Beautiful. Well, very good. Uh, good luck to everything, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna track you and follow you, and then um, please do. Now Nikki's gonna also post everything in the description, right? Yeah. So all your websites, your links, um, oh, all your awesome. social media will be on the in description box below. So everyone wonderful. Can just, yeah. um, expand the description box and click the links. Just yes. Gonna, yep. it's gonna be good. All right, Nikki, where can they find us? Well, you can find Open Arms on Instagram at openarms.tv. Or if you have any questions about today's show, you can send us a tweet over on Twitter at openarmsdt. And again, everything will be in the description box below. 
Very good. Well, again, Felicia, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm looking forward to you getting elected. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to Absolutely. do it, too. All right. Well, that's our show for today. And always remember, safety, family, and the Second Amendment. Have a good day.